Not me falling into the beige and the beige trap. Oh, okay. I love her covers. They're so great. Even in the midst of my efforts to homeschool and doing all the right things, there's just so much struggle with this one area of my life, and it's just. Are you ready? Yes. A box in a box. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's a thing here. Careful. Yeah, this is on the The struggle. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was elegant. <laughs> so elegant. Oh my god. <coughs> so beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. My clothes size is perfect. Okay, that's good. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, look at that screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michaela. No problem. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, Minnie Mouse. That's cute. I actually like this color, but it is size four to six. That's not her size. Let me see. Come here. Let me see. Stand up. Six. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's cute. It might actually fit. He says for five pieces. Let me see. Mommy. Yeah. Can I take it off? You can't take it off. We haven't bought it yet. You have to wait and see. Gosh. Okay, okay, okay. This is my first season. Mm-hmm. This is my first season. This is my first season. This is my first season. Four to six is so small, and then six to eight is so big. My first season. This is my first season. That's like the same color scheme. Let me see. Not me falling into the beige and the beige trap. <laughs> no. Nah. You know? Yeah. This is cute. You like this? <coughs> That's cute, yeah. Right? How's it feel? No, it feels rough. The boy section is Do you dance, Zoe? Do you dance? Do you dance? Do you dance? Oh. I really love this color on her. This color. It's really cute. It's like almost like a mint. Yeah, Zoe, look. Stand up on the Zoe, come over here. Oh, that's so cute. What do you think? I think it's cute. 
Yeah. Yeah. I like the style of it. Oh, for which one? Blue, gray. Mm. Oh, you like the blue. Oh, that's cute, right? I don't. This is okay. This is kind of simple, huh? Yeah. I just finished a workout on the treadmill. Not exactly, I wouldn't say it's a foot workout because I prefer to, I wanna do some weights but I don't have the strength to do it. Anyways, I think it's because I need to eat something. So, while I'm down here, while I'm down here, I'm just gonna grab, uh, what do you call it? I'm just gonna grab some shakes that I bought I sent the kids to put it down here. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Where? Oh, it's right in front of me. I'm just gonna drink a breakfast shake. They're not something I have very frequently, but in the mornings I've been having overnight oats and stuff, but I, I forgot to prep some last night. There's a lot on the agenda for today. I have laundry to do, got the bathrooms to clean up, the one in the basement here and the one at the main level. So, yeah, and I need, and it's Friday. While we're not fully doing traditional homeschooling on Friday, it is still my duty to entertain my kids. So I gotta figure out what we're gonna do. I didn't have this figured out since yesterday. Yesterday was a snow day, so it kind of threw our schedule right off, right off, out of whack. The older kids ended up staying home because yeah, in the middle of April, we've had like some sunny days on the weekends. We were, weekend, we were outside running around at the park i think we were still wearing jackets mind you but how were we here it was like winter wonderland outside it was, so school got canceled of course and the older ones were home and when they were whenever they get a snow day i kind of vouched to myself that we're gonna take one too and i'm not gonna feel guilty for it because i used to i forgot to show you the drink that i had was this and it's a high protein one. It says it's good for building muscle. And um, yeah, I just did a little workout. So it actually tastes really good. It didn't have that. So I have to come back down here because there is a bit of a mess down here. And uh, yeah, we cannot tolerate and that. Lots, and there's lots of toys that Amy gave us. This is unacceptable, guys. While they're the ones that made the mess, there's a part of me that's taking responsibility because we're the ones who had bought them a lot of these toys one thing that i think also it's good to be noted is that you know now that they have older siblings who who work and have jobs they also invest and buy them things and it just adds to the mess honestly a few days ago it was spotless wasn't it zoe and who who made this big mess okay can you put the book down please and come and help to clean up okay i just that's okay you can put your bookmark in there that's perfect thank you put this rested on the table yeah okay we can start we can start with by cleaning can simple I just, things can I just play that? well no we're not playing with anything until we clean it up first and then we can start over okay Zoe Zoe okay here here so we're gonna start by putting this away Yep, you want to pick up the little pet shop? Okay, you pick those all up. 
So this unit that I bought, I thought this was gonna be, I don't know what I thought this was gonna be. I bought this unit thinking I was saving myself. I was like, oh, it would be great. They'll have a little place to put some of their stuff. Little did I know, it was just like easy access to remove everything off the shelf. So honestly, a part of my goal this year is to get rid of this unit and just free up space in here. It doesn't have to be cluttered and jam packed with stuff because they have a lot of things that they can already play with. I don't mind, my mindset's gonna be focused on like the kitchen and the big areas that they can just do creative play. But honestly, I'm parting with a lot of like the little tiny knickknacks that are not conducive to any of us because I don't wanna be stuck cleaning it and neither do they. So ideally I think it's the best for us to just get rid of it because they don't have to clean it and neither will I. Oh, this, this. this belongs upstairs. Here, come put it up. Keep this one? You gonna keep that one? Yes. Okay. Hi, welcome on my pot <laughs> Okay, go help Zoe get the, the stuffies to put in this thing. This is way too many stuffies. I feel like we could go through it again. Uh, do I want to is the real question. Do I want to right at this very second? to kind of share some of the things that I've learned in with being a mom and just where I am today after being a parent for 20 years I think at one point in, the, in time like even just the thought of being able to give your kid everything sometimes it felt like it had to be literally everything like even things materialistic things and I think because we were young parents, we were adamant in just making sure that we could give them all the things and not feeling like just because we were young, you okay? Just because we were young, we or our kids had to struggle. And we poured so much into these things, into things, into getting them all the things. While we were still focusing on the good parts, of course. And while I don't want to beat ourselves up, really, for just growth, because every parent has to grow, we don't all have it figured out <laughs> when we're raising our kids. Um, can't help but feeling that guilt sometimes of just like, you know, how far things have gone, I think. And when I say that, I literally mean just like, even in the midst of my efforts to homeschool and doing all the right things, there's just so much struggle with this one area of my life and it's just clean, keeping the house clean, keeping my basement clean, keeping the playroom clean. And I could do all the main surface things all the time, but I just hate it when I turn around and then there's toys everywhere. I know I've known the solution for a while and I have been actually tackling it for several years. I can't believe how much stuff we had. And even worse, I can't believe how much stuff we still have. While we never lost sight of like some of the important things like reading, we always knew that that was fundamental for our kids so we definitely invested in a lot of books and we took time shopping for them, always making sure we were buying them the right books. They were clean and anyways, long story short, while we were still focusing on that, we, at times I felt like we didn't fully grasp or understand that less can also be more. And that's just me being a parent. I'm literally admitting our fault <laughs> right now, a part of our faults and something we had to learn along the way. It's truly time to let this go because my daughter's never played with dolls and there's just no point. So we're gonna get rid of this. Hmm? Okay. 
good. You did a good job. You're almost done. But can we, yeah, you can read that book, but put the books on the shelves, please. So some progress has been made in here. Hmm. I did say I have a bunch of other things to get done and I still will get to them in this vlog, I think. I'm gonna do my best. It's Friday and it's supposed to be a casual day. So while we're gonna have, I don't have to cook per se today though I took meat out. I wanna be able to relax this evening. So I do not wanna do work straight into the evening. Yeah, I wanna be able to do some of the things that I wanna do. Also guys, I just finished reading a book. I wanna tell you guys about it so bad. I, I gotta tell it to you guys. While I thought we were narrowing down, we're making room for this thing to grow even bigger. I had to clear this up. It's been contained babies. This one, of course, was one from childhood and I kept it for my kids. I debate about getting rid of this one. I might keep this one. I don't honestly keep anything sentimental, so I don't have a lot of stuff from my childhood. That's pictures included. I don't even have one picture of me since I was a baby, which is crazy. So I have kept this and I have two dolls that, I, like not dolls, two bears that I've had for about 20 years <laughs> and that's it that's all i have for my childhood and i think maybe a book or two a couple books actually a couple books so that's why i really debate about keeping this but i don't know we'll see if it's really sentimental oh anyways this right here are littlest pet shops and while they make them they don't make them the way they used to so we've had um had them from when the girls were small they've been playing with them and luckily it's something that we held on to like they were able to play with it well on until we were trying to decide what we're going to do with it and then more babies came about <laughs> so they have a little sister who can play with this now but i thought it was like nicely condensed but it was nicely contained in this bin and then my daughter made arrangements with her friends to um that to bring over what she had and while we're like really grateful for it because there's so many different things it's fun there's unique things that they didn't have i'm just like oh it's more stuff but i'm not gonna sweat it because this is actually one of the things that she plays with that i'm not touching or getting rid of so I'm, i don't mind too much but it's still playing with my mind because in my mind i'm thinking i'm decluttering i'm getting rid of stuff i haven't been purchased i haven't purchased one of these things in maybe like a decade i couldn't tell you the last time i've ever purchased anything littlest pet shop if like i said if there were any purchases made it would have been by their elder eldest sisters for like the holidays yeah that's my little rant i figured oh i'll just dump it in here this bin is laying here i usually store some books um i usually use it to store some books on display up here but I was going to use it for the Lilith's pet shop. But then I look at it and I'm like, ugh, it just looks so junky. It's just, look at it. It's just so much stuff out in the open. I don't want it out in the open. So we're going to put it in these bins because I have a bunch in here that stores my little pony, li my little pony, Polly Pocket, and now Lilith's pet shops. Yes, my kids are one of those kids that like to play with all the cutesy wootsy little stuff never mind all the big things we don't buy any of those but yeah what happened? nothing happened honey i just filled it up here so now we have room to put the others can you get the other littlest pet shop Okay, we're getting there. There's some more stuff here. Thank God it fits. And some more stuff here. Zoe, why are you not in here to help the clean up? Why have you vanished? Aren't you supposed to be in here helping? I would like to read my book too. Yeah, is that car a little less petra? Yep. What are they? Tofu. Tofu? This? Mm hmm. Shaking. Nuts. What? Yep, Hair. nuts. Mm hmm. What's the last one? What is it? I don't know. Seafood. Seafood. Mm hmm. You need to wipe your hands off. It's covered in chocolate. 
right, so Abe's farm has 18 sheep. Good job, Zoe. How many tens are in 18? One. One, and how many ones? Girl, girl, somebody yeah. So show me Vanessa's. How many tens are in Vanessa's? Two. Two tens, because she has 24 sheep. I can't see your hands covering the amount. She has 24 sheep on her farm, and it contains two tens and how many ones? Four. Good job. Fantastic. Okay, let's pick them up and give them to me. I'm going to store them in here. I'm going to fold them. This is what we do, guys. Mommy, Daddy. Just a second. This is what we do. We store a lot of the ones that she does in her math book in here. That way, whenever we do cutouts, that way she can do it again. Crazy bins, we've never been here before. This is cool.